Hey my friends, how's it going? It's Ultimus, and for today's video we're talking about what's going on this week in a World of Warcraft. Uh, big week, big week this week. Um, a lot of cool things happening. Uh, obviously the usual weekly quest stuff, uh, world bosses. Uh, we have Nighthold opening this week, and this weekend is going to be what's going to be kicking off the uh, first event in the Micro Holidays events going on. So we're going to go through, talk about all these things, and... Uh, end the video like we usually do so uh let's go ahead and jump right in uh of course for starters oops gotta turn around here for starters we are going to be of course talking to archmage timir himself um who is going to be giving us a quest to complete five time walking dungeons which this week is the wrath of the lich king dungeons so those are always exciting uh burning crusade and of course um wrath of the lich king are always two of my favorites mostly um enjoyed those dungeons a lot Maybe it's just because everything else feels so close, like I completed it so recently, that it's not as enjoyable um, as the others. But luckily, time walking is really easy to complete. You can you can bang out most of those in an hour and a half. It feels like sometimes even less if you got a really good group. So it's a really good, easy way to get some artifact power and a cache of Nightborn treasures, um, which at this point looks like it is no no longer dealing with um, the Emerald Nightmare loot, and it looks like we're going to be getting our hands on uh night hold loot which is exciting very very exciting stuff um obviously new gear which means a uh, higher item level which is always a big thing new trinkets um new relics all that stuff like that so very good stuff excited about this easy way to hopefully pick up on some item level whether it's for your main or some alt and of course uh just always helps especially if you're lucky enough to get a good piece of gear from these and if nothing else hopefully something good for transmog so really easy to complete so i picked it up five time walking it's even easier with friends and guildies just go through steamroll it Easy, done. Q times are little to non-existent if you obviously queue with friends or um, pre-made. So, uh, with that out of the way, of course, don't forget to run over to the other corner to Archmaze Landlock and pick up your uh, Seals of Broken Fate. Uh, I've already got six of them, so I need to worry about it this week. Um, but don't forget to pick those up, especially if you're going into Nighthold, you want those bonus rolls, um, or if you're doing Mythic Mythics today and stuff like that. All of that, of course, for world bosses. Uh, so don't forget to pick those up because this week we have two world bosses. Now, one's a little bit more contingent than the other, but we'll start with the one that's over here in Valshara. Now, I did already complete it this week. Um, I had to re-record this segment, I will say, because I got some information wrong. So uh, Humongous himself is going to appear over here on the Gloaming Reef, uh, just a little bit west here of the flight point here. And then we also have a second world boss over here in Suramar. Now, this one's a little deceptive. Um, I'm glad I did a little bit of research before putting this video up. And quite frankly, I probably should have done some research beforehand. So that was my fault. But I'm glad I caught it before we posted this. Um, but there is a second world boss here inside of the Nighthold. Now, this isn't a world boss that's actually out roaming around like I originally thought it was. I went and looked all around Suramar for like 20 minutes and couldn't find it. So I looked it up, and it turns out it's inside the Nighthold, and it's not able to be accessed until you kill the first boss in the Nighthold, which is none other than uh, Scorpion himself, herself, whatever it is. It's a little weird looking, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. It's basically a blue version of the Horde mount that you get for the guild thing. Anyways, um, so you got those two world bosses going on, which is probably a good thing to make sure you pick up those coins from Landalock himself. Um, I got screwed over this week on loot from uh, Humongous himself, so maybe I can get into Nighthold, get that first boss down, and uh, grab me some bonus loot from uh, Mr. Mr. Torm himself. Uh, but so two world bosses, one out in the world like we normally would on a, on our typical rota uh, typical rotation, and uh, one inside the Nighthold. So uh, you can feel free to go double check it. I might be wrong uh, if that's the case. Sweet, but I'm pretty sure it's all inside the Nighthold. Everything I've seen so far uh, in red says that it's inside Nighthold. So uh, good luck getting that first boss down to get access to the boss. He is up for six days, so you have the whole rest of the week until reset, basically, to get him down. So good luck with that. Now, we do have... We'll go ahead and pull up the loot table for Humongous. I'm kind of uh, not really in... Actually, the cloak would be better for me. If I was able to get the cloak and have it roll up, that'd be dope. Uh, shoulders would be good for transmog, and unless that rolled up, it'd be... Kind of actually, it would be just a straight upgrade at that point because it's the same one. So, loot the uh, loot here for this week for my arms warrior is pretty decent. So I'll probably end up bonus rolling on that unless I get something really really good and don't want to push my luck. 
Um, so don't forget about all that. And then, of course, this coming weekend, so not immediately, um, but this coming weekend, the Scarab event begins. And that's going on from a Saturday until probably Monday night. To uh, Yeah, Monday night is probably when it's going to end like everything else does, rolling into restart. But this is the first micro-holiday. So I'm really curious how this is going to go. I'm really excited to check this out um, and see what it looks like. Hopefully, I'll be able to get in and get some done. But we'll see since uh, life's getting kind of crazy over here in, in Mikasa. So... <laughs> We'll find out. But uh, those of you guys that participate in it, please do let me know what you think. Uh, is it any fun? Is it worth uh, the hype? I don't know. Either way, it's more content to do even if it does feel silly and minuscule. It's something to do and it's something different. So I'm really excited to see how this pans out. <sighs> and then the biggest probably or the biggest news this week uh, that's going on is Nighthold has officially opened. That is the next raid here. Uh, in Legion, it is a 10 boss raid. It is located in Suramar itself, pretty much right there at the entrance uh, of Suramar City. As you can see, the big green glowy swirly thing there at the center. In case you missed it, we'll go ahead and, and just right, right, it's right there. Uh, so, if you are going to be getting into Suramar this week, or maybe if you've already started, good luck to you. Um, normal is usually pretty easy for most guilds, most experienced guilds at least, to roll through and, and start getting loot on. And most people start pushing onto heroic pretty quickly. Um, but obviously we're all from, uh, different, different backgrounds and we all have different levels of content that we find challenging and, uh, interested to get into. So for those of you guys pushing progression, good luck for those of you guys that are just goofing off in raids for the experience and for a little bit of loot. Good luck to you as well. I hope it's a blast. I'm looking forward to getting into it. Um, hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, we'll have to see how time works out, but again, we're looking at a 10 boss dungeon. Uh, some recognizable and uh, familiar characters and some new ones as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, of course, you can always check out all the stuff in the dungeon journal itself. And I do recommend it just to get an understanding of what loot's going to drop. Of course, that's always the fun part. And, of course, uh, tactics and abilities. We, we, you're only going to do yourself uh, a, a great service. You're only going to help yourself if you go into a fight understanding what's going on uh, with each of these guys and understanding what your role in that fight is. So... Uh, if you're looking to get into rating new, um, or if you're coming back to it, always use the Dungeon Journal. It's great. ton of fun. Um, I'm going to spend some time going over the fight soon. <sighs> Just so I know what to expect when I go in there. Although LFR is usually pretty easy. Uh, you never know when you're getting yourself into. So, uh, Tychondris himself is a raid boss here in the dungeon, which I've heard it's a fairly lackluster fight, but uh, I'm excited to get into it just on principle and beat the crap out of him. Uh, Crossus himself from the Broken Isles and the Broken Shore event is back here, so we're going to have to go kick the crap out of him for uh, what him and Gul'dan did to Varian and, of course, Tyrion, because that's messed up. Um, some of the bosses as well, and of course, uh, Gul'dan himself. I'm not going to go into details on every single boss because that would just be silly, but. Uh, the Lord of the, the, I think it's the Shadow Moon Clan, I don't remember, I'm totally spacing on my lore here for a second. Uh, yeah, that's right, he was formerly of the Shadow Moon Clan and then eventually founded the Storm Reaper Clan, but we're not here to talk about lore. Uh, either way, we get to kick the crap out of him, which is great. I, I did, however, cheat and look at the ending cinematic of Nighthold, so I kind of know what happens, but either way, it's going to be cool to get in and fight him anyways. Uh, definitely looking forward to it, especially knowing that he's not the end boss of Legion, so that's kind of exciting. But it's kind of cool to see that we're at least wrapping up this full storyline, and we'll finally put Warlords of Draenor to rest. And that's that. Look at that decrepit little hand there. Look at this fool. Like he's got some kind of disease or something. Ugh. He just, uh, just looking at him incites an anger and a rage in me that just makes me want to turn into a raider and beat the snot out of him and farm him for loot. It also makes me want to make a warlock, though, so I can get those stinking shoulders, because, hello, those things are sick looking. Um, but that's, of course, last expansion, and I'm not willing to commit to a third tune quite yet. But, anyways, uh, lots of cool stuff going on this week in WoW, of course, uh, so don't forget to take advantage of it and get the most out of it. Two world bosses up at the moment, one in uh, Val Shara, and then, of course, the one in Suramar itself. Nighthold is open. Um, Nighthold, again, is a big deal, obviously, because new gear, but it's also the raid that is introducing sets. So now we're having class sets back in the game. Uh, first tier raiding, we just had gear. Uh, for, that was basically for item level and, you know, stat priority and stuff like that. But now we're getting into sets, which is definitely going to be a big deal, game changer. Um, it's going to affect, obviously, the way Mythic Pluses are run, um, and, of course, the way raiding is done. So we'll have to wait and see what that looks like, and hopefully we're able to get our hands on them or at least myself, very, very soon. Obviously, you guys will have no problem. Uh, but uh, I'm speaking for myself here. 
Um, other than that, um, Time Walking Dungeons going on this week. Don't forget to queue into that because your uh, event is, of course, going to be giving you a cash for uh, the Nightborn Treasures, which is, again, loot from the Nighthold, so big deal there. And then we have the Call of the Scare beginning on the weekend, Saturday the 21st. Uh, and then it's going to end about the 23rd into the 24th. So um, other than that, that's about it for this video. So we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to go play some WoW or maybe some Overwatch. Probably some WoW. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, I do appreciate uh, you stopping by and checking it out. But uh, yeah, so I'll catch you next time.